Hey there, what's up? Tim Warner here, and this lesson is on GitHub Copilot agents. I want to teach you all about those. I think they're really cool, and I actually believe that these agents may represent the way forward. In other words, standardization in terms of a standard way to refer to different fine-tuned large language models or LLMs. Anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself. You probably know, hopefully you know, that on social media and business collaboration platforms like I'm in Microsoft Teams here, when you at mention, you're normally referring to another human being, but you don't have to. You'll notice here that I can call out my one of my fictional lab users here, Alicia, and she'll be notified in Teams that I'm mentioning her in this particular chat. And we can also at, as you can see, using team bots. So I might, let me see, let me type bot and see if there's any that I can communicate with. Calendar bot. So we can call out and communicate with both AI bots, chat bots, particularly in the Microsoft ecosystem, you're probably doing power, what was called Power Virtual Agents, but now is called Microsoft Copilot Studio. But it's the same idea. So what does all this mean, I'm sure you're asking. Well, let me flip over to the browser environment. By that, I mean, actually, my VS Code environment. <laughs> As you can see, I'm in the Explorer pane here, and I've saved my code base as a workspace. That's a very important tip I have here when we're talking about GitHub Copilot agents. To set the stage here, I'm in Visual Studio Code, and I've got two extensions loaded. You need them both, GitHub Copilot and also GitHub Copilot Chat. And then upon first installation, you will sign in and you can verify your creds down here on the activity bar using the accounts widget. So you need a subscription to GitHub Copilot, which you can get through GitHub using your GitHub identity. We're now in the IDE. And I, as I mentioned, I've created a workspace file, save workspace as, and I just have the workspace file right into the repository and I can put it on Git Ignore or not if I want to put it into GitHub, etc. You know that, that whole song and dance. But specifically, if we're bringing out the GitHub Copilot chat panel, and you've typed at down in the prompt, we've got these, I originally called them contexts, but they're now known as agents, the best I can tell. And specifically, again, this is best as I can tell, given that the underlying GPT language model is proprietary and GitHub Copilot is also proprietary regarding how it works with GPT. But my, my belief is that the GitHub Copilot endpoint will take your prompt if you're addressing one of these agents and it will send a nested API call to a, a fine-tuned GPT that GitHub has that's particularly smart on GitHub, shell scripting, VS Code, and most importantly, for prompting, the workspace. So when I do at workspace, for example, I'm targeting VS Code. I can either ask questions like how to from a doc standpoint, like at workspace, can I use a custom VS Code theme at the workspace level? So I could ask this. You're basically chatting with a specialized bot. GitHub Copilot is forwarding that and that's why you might see more latency than usual. And also, you'll notice here that GitHub Copilot is looking at the workspace. The workspace is, as we know, an object, a level in the VS Code object model. And it's critical for day-to-day -day use because we probably, I'm assuming, that the 80% scenario is that you want suggestions and correlations to come across this entire workspace because we'll also recall that you can add multiple code bases, multiple folders to a workspace and you've got a level to save custom settings, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, and so forth. Okay? So at workspace is great from a context perspective and in VS Code it requires that you've got that workspace file defined. Now, what about the at? I mean, you might not have thought of that. At terminal, what might we want to do here? I think the idea, if you read the helpful tool tips here, ask how to do something in the terminal, I think their idea is this is a, a GPT that's really smart on bash scripting and Git and GitHub CLI. So if you've got a complicated Git command, I could say a git log command to see J Smith's commits on December. 12th, 2023. I mean, I'm just trying to think of an example off the top of my head. 
And you'll notice that the terminal bot responded and gave us that command and even helpfully loaded the panel here with the terminal all ready to go. What else do we have? We've got at VS Code, where we could ask questions about VS Code and also the data. Again, it, it becomes a question of, are you talking about the workbench, which is the object that defines all of the application Chrome and panels? And then you've got the editor space out here where each of these represents an instance of that editor class, and you've got everything that goes along with that. So VS Code is about asking questions about VS Code. And then lastly, I talked about Workspace. There's at GitHub. And the idea here is you can ask questions about how GitHub works, but also about your repositories. List my repositories that are internal. Again, I'm just thinking of that prompt off the top of my head for grins. And that didn't give me a satisfactory answer. I'm not sure why. But are you getting the general flow with these, with these agents, as they're called? So I suspect we're going to see increasing standardization. Definitely, we're going to see it at Microsoft and in GitHub. I'll be interested to see if it goes over into Google and AWS, etc. I mean, everybody is using the at reference anyway. But in terms of using at references to chatbots here, again, you may be totally already familiar, that's old hat, because you've been in MS Teams for a long time. But remember, that's not the case for everybody. Now I'm going to open up VS Code Insiders. I've got another video on this. I did a whole video on, let me see if I can remember the product name. I always have to think about it. GitHub Copilot for Azure. Oh, I guess I don't have to think about it. Yeah, so I'm in the private preview for this GitHub Copilot for Azure agent. And I definitely encourage you, I'll put a link in the video notes. Let me make a reminder. Put link to Azure Copilot private preview. I don't know what the preview status is as of today. I mean, I'm making this recording on Friday, July 5th, 2024. But you do um, an install from V6. I can't remember where the command is. You know, it's not really software. But what it is supposed to allow us to do is when we do an at Azure reference, we're able to ask general questions about Azure, but because we've also signed into Azure, and I would definitely ask that you have the Azure account extension loaded into your VS Code as well to make it really easy to browse your IDs and subscriptions and so forth. Coming back to our chat panel, yeah, that at is supposed to allow you to target all of your deployments based on your authentication context. So I don't think it works now, but eventually we should be able to at Azure um, how many, or I'll, I'll ask a more targeted question, is or are my key vaults set for uh, purge protection? See, just a question off the top of my head. Looks like I'm out of date on the extension. It looks like it threw an error. Again, that's all part of pre-release private preview. Yeah, I mean, I, I obviously need to update. I'm way out of date. I brought you over here to just, again, this is the way the patterns are shaping up. So if you, for example, thinking internally, have trained up one or more GPTs on your internal business, you've got one for people ops, let's say, you've got another for the sales and marketing people, thinking of how this might crop up, say, on a developer's desktop, they could at HR to ask about vacation policy, and they could at marketing to ask what a product name is so they get it right in their source code. You see what I mean? I'm just thinking of these use cases and situations off the top of my head. But we're almost at the 10 minute mark, so let's call it done right now. Thanks a lot for your participation. I'll see you next time.